Hi, my name is Joseph Parker, WWE Champion of the World, and you're watching Sporting Icons. All right, everyone, I hope you're all doing fantastic. So I just watched the press conference for Regis Prograis versus Josh Taylor. And, of course, on the undercard, you've got uh, Derek Chisora versus Joseph Parker. You've got uh, Selby versus Burns and Ngabu versus Okoli for the European Cruiserweight title. So, first of all, it's a very, very good card. And when they first broke the news that this was going to be the card that was going to be happening at the O2 Arena, was the very first thing that I said. The World Boxing Super Series should be pretty grateful and consider themselves very, very lucky that they've managed to get Chisora versus Parker on this card because this is a headliner of its own. It's not a pay-per-view one, but it's a headliner of its own. But you put this one along with Progress and Taylor plus the other two fights and whatever else, it's a, you could say, a worthy pay-per-view card, right? Potentially. But either way, um, now I watched it on the Matchroom boxing youtube channel of course it was live on there uh, sky sports had one going as well but i watched the matchroom one um i come in a little bit late so, so i had to like a uh, wind back and watch it um first of all it's good that matchroom boxing have got their live chat enabled again um i think uh, youtube disabled it for a little while um, i've got a feeling i know why but regardless of that it's enabled again which is great now Derek Chisora kicks off in this press conference at Eddie Hearn and at Adam Smith of Sky Sports saying, I want to know who's the headliner for this show. In other words, he's saying that him versus Joseph Parker should be the headliner, uh, not as little guys as he calls him, as in Progress and Josh Taylor. Now, first of all, I can say I understand what it is that Derek Chisora is saying because it is a headliner. Uh, but second of all, there are some things on here that he really needs to consider himself when he says these kind of things now for Derek Chisora to say who's the headliner and if I'm not the headliner because the O2 Arena this is my home I'm from London and these are my boxing fans okay you want me to pack it pack out for this show but people aren't going to pack, pack out for an American versus Scott that's pretty much what he's saying okay now I understand his frustrations but these are the kind of things that you deal with when you sign the contract right Okay, um, whether it was him and his manager, David Hay, should have sorted all this out before today's press conference, right? You agreed to this fight. You agreed to it to be on the O2 Arena and you should have known that it was the undercard. So why bring it up now at a live press conference? That's very backwards thinking. Now, of course, um, he has parted ways with his new trainer, David Codewell, which, of course, we found out today from David Hay. After David Hay does his usual spill of, I've never seen Chisora spa this much and blah, blah, blah. You know what David Hay's like. So he's waiting for a new uh, trainer or he's already got one, but that will be announced in due course. Um, so maybe this is part of it. The fact that he's a little frustrated, maybe he's a little bit nervous about this fight with Joseph Parker, doesn't really want it. But either way, he's saying, if you want me to be on an undercard in my home city, then you need to pay me a bit more money. As I said, all these kind of things should have been sorted out way before now. Um, now, Derek Chisora, the way that he was going off and effing and blinding was unnecessary in my point. But as I said, I do understand his frustration. He is the hometown guy, if you like. And people do like heavyweights more than they do all of the divisions. And the World Boxing Super Series for season two hasn't really caught fire. Season one really caught fire. Season two plateaued. And I think a lot of it was because of some of the fights that they were putting on in parts of the world that people just weren't really interested in watching. All these kind of things. I think all these kind of things added up, which is why Eddie Hearn came to the rescue, if you like, and Sky Sports came to the rescue for this particular fight card. Um, now, the point that Derek Chisora is saying is, I want to be the headline. If I'm not, then give me more money. And again, I can understand that. Obviously, I don't know how much money he's getting. But, and, and there is a big but on this one. Derek Chisora versus um, Joseph Parker, first of all, is not a pay-per-view headliner. It's a headliner. It could headline somewhere. I don't know whether or not it would uh, sell out the O2 Arena, to be honest with you. I have no idea. But it's not pay-per-view, okay? Derek Chisora, every time he stepped up, I want to be rude, but he's taken a loss excluding Carlos Takam, but he's always taking a loss. He's the away fighter, even when he's fighting at home. That's pretty much how it is, okay? Um, so him being, being the chief support on this card, which is a pay-per-view one, means he's probably going to get more money than what he would actually headlining it, but on a non-pay-per-view. So there's the other one. Now, David Hay, of course, he just sat there laughing. I have no idea what, what David Hay's whole role of this is, to be honest with you. He just manages Derek Chisora. That's all he does. And he's somehow managed to get his own logo, Haymaker, um, on the poster and everything. 
which is weird. It's very, very odd for me. Um, it's not like a Barry McGuigan got his on there, is it? And uh, his guy's in the main event and all these kind of things. Or maybe it is, and I just haven't noticed it. But the point is, this is a pay-per-view show. And these are the kind of things that you should have known beforehand. And Joseph Parker versus Derek Chisora, could it headline the O2 Arena? Maybe, but would it sell it out? Unlikely, to be honest with you, unlikely. It will sell out, say, your call, well, certainly sell out your call and the copper box and things like that. But the O2 Arena, I'm not too sure. Derek, Derek Chisora needs to know that he is not a big, big ticket seller. He's a decent ticket seller, for sure. But he's a guy who has multiple losses on his record. So quite why he's going out Eddie Hearn um, and um, Adam Smith. And he's going on about nobody gives a damn about um, the Muhammad Ali trophy. This World Boxing Super Series sucks and blah, 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 blah. I understand his point because season two has plateaued quite a bit. Which is why I said they should be quite lucky that they managed to get this particular fight on the undercard. But why kick off now? I have no idea. But as I said, I do understand it is a headliner. But listen, Chisora, you are a undercard fighter. And you need somebody like a Joseph Parker to help you be the headliner. But even then, it ain't pay-per-view. And that's the truth of it. And it's a fantastic fight and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm sure these guys will sort it out. Eddie Hearn seemed a little bit shocked. Uh, Callis Allen didn't quite know how to respond. But Adam Smith just put it bluntly. These are two great fights um, that... The fans are looking forward to seeing, so let's just get on with it. Adam Smith was absolutely correct, but very, very unimpressed with Derek Chisora. Again, in addition to this, Derek Chisora, you are not a matchroom fighter or a Sky Sports fighter. You are you signed away those rights when you signed up with David Hay. Where's David Hay going to put you on? The, the Dave Channel again? Maybe ITV or something like that? You ain't going to be on Sky Sports if you start treading on the wrong people's toes. Simple as that. You want the big money, where else are you going to get the big money from? Do you think Frank Warren's going to do it? Frank Warren binned you off a little while ago. So if I was him, I'd just be grateful of the money that he is getting and the fact that I'd be grateful that he's actually a chief support to a fantastic main event, which incidentally is a unification fight. That's my thoughts. You drop me yours. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next one.